of sport, but especially the NFL uh, or college football. I put, I, I, but the NFL, I put all those charts in there to explain to people because right now, I don't care what site you go up on, Joe, a lot of these new places, uh, the reason they're making the money they're making is if you were to poll sports bettors out there today, everyone thinks making a bet on a, on a sporting event, you're laying 11 to 10. That's the premise that we've all been taught, that you're laying 11 to win 10. A lot of these bets today, and matter of fact, Almost all, well, not a lot of them, all of them. Uh, these, we'll call them, uh, you know, the teasers, the parlays, uh, those bets. Some of those bets, uh, a guy's laying a dollar fifty, and he doesn't even know it because there's no requirement to disclose the odds you're laying, so they're not going to tell you. But like these in game parlays, and you're doing these three and 14 parlays, and you're doing these teasers. A lot of these places are charging you a dollar fifty to a dollar. You got no chance of winning. You got zero chance of winning. I couldn't win. I wouldn't even think about playing them. But the average person who's playing them, they don't know that. Uh, so because right now there's there's no requirement to disclose that to to the customer. And uh, we all want about a small amount of money, one large amount of money, right, Joe? Yeah. Okay. Well, you got a lot of people out there. They're they're making these bets. And they're laying a dollar forty, dollar fifty, and they don't know it. When you look at these publicly traded companies, you know it's out there, right out there in the public. You know when they report their earnings, they're, you know they're they're doing very well. But they all refer to these parlays and teasers. That's where they're making the majority of their money. They're not making they're they're not making the majority of their money on straight bets where people are laying eleven to ten. They're making it on these proposition bets. 